there. And before I begin, whoever expects what the hell this type of recording is gonna be like, just leave, please. And unsub if you want. No really care. Years, years, and years passed by, and supposedly, supposedly, things are changing. Supposedly, people are changing. Supposedly, things are having an advancement to the better, right? That's how things are supposed to be. Well, no. For me, it doesn't. The only change that, that literally come to me is when I literally do fucking download a video game or eat a new food or like, you know, uh, drink some kind of a new type of drink. That is not alcohol, by the way, but I wish I could get myself some alcohol. Because, let's be real, alcohol, drugs, and cigarettes everything that's gonna potentially kill you and it will kill you are literally the way to live and I'm just gonna get straight to the chase this week sucks this week fucking sucks and I'd rather have not to be living through it why? This Saturday, an absolute amount of pile of shit bullshit happened with literally a fucking Karim driver. And Karim is basically an Uber alternative in our country. So I so I just stopped the fucking Karim into, uh, into a fucking gas station. So that I can just, you know, separate the uh, separate a hundred pound bill, you know, and and just when I'm about to get to separate the goddamn thing, you know, simply the goddamn driver has decided to blast off and just run off without telling us anything, but. Uh, and not only that, since that the, the freaking, the freaking trip is made by credit card, he fucking ran off and stole 62 fucking pounds. And as a result, I have been late to my goddamn lecture along the way. Nah, and then, just when I thought that everything was going to be going decently, you know, when I come back. I was planning to eat, you know, have a little fun, and eventually, I don't know, look into whatever the hell that I am, that I'm able to take throughout the whole day, or like at least be able to, I don't know, rest up properly, but no, my dad drags me in for the most stupidest fucking lecture that I have ever seen that is simply a repetition to all the goddamn mental damage that I have ever had in the past three fucking years. Like really. And all of it is him telling me that I am in the fucking wrong. Jeez dad, how about you support me? How about you support me like a fucking normal father? No, no. Is it supposed to end there? No. No. Because yesterday, he fucking forces me to, to close my goddamn laptop. Two days ago, he forces me to close my goddamn laptop. Wow. And he just doesn't want to listen to me. Because he just wants to see someone who studies. He wants to see someone who, you know, who does any kind of stupid studying bullshit and was literal paper scattered all around, like how, quote unquote, a proper college student. Now fuck you. I'm not studying at all. I'm not doing any effort at all. 
Have you seen my goddamn marks? I'm as close as I can ever get to be one of the fucking dipshits that I have made fun of way back at school. And now today. I wake up today, everything's fine, and I'm literally getting rushed to be able to be there for some kind of a fucking hired driver with 300 fucking EGP to lift, to give me a lift to until the fucking college. To the point where they can't even let me finish my goddamn breakfast. My fucking breakfast! I can't fucking finish my goddamn breakfast! That is not even that long! It was just, it was just my main, my fucking cheese and chocolate sandwiches that I have recently made. Wow, guess I gotta fucking divide my goddamn bread or literally just, you know, uh, not even eat at all and get out of there with literally a throat that is gonna fucking kill me for the rest of the goddamn day. More than I was already killed. Why? Because I have fucking lost my composure I've been shouting all around thanks to that. And until this point, I've literally, literally raised up my goddamn grandma. I literally told her not to fucking contact any of us again. Because, let's be real, they're one of the reasons why my parents are a bunch of fucking asshats. Like, seriously. Seriously. This year was supposed to be a year where things actually change. Where my fucking parents can actually change and fuck the way off from my goddamn life. This year was supposed to be something. The separating year. The, the absolute fucking ending to all the bullshit from all the past years. But no. No. This week has been nothing but the most absolute absurd Stressing, stressing as fuck week. That is a cycle to all the bullshit. No, a big half of it from literally the past years. And I highly doubt that it's gonna end. This thing. That it's gonna end there. Cause you know, I can't even like, bruh. I can't even do my own stuff. And yesterday, some fucker, just because I said, uh, use me as a punching bag, it's annoying. But, when someone else has having his depress depressive moment on almost every single fucking day, and every single drama goes up almost all around them and their family, it's fine. And that's how the fucking... MHA Roleplay Server And you know what the hell that MHA stands for I'm not gonna even bother stating about how stupid the fucking community is Or how fucked up pedophilic pieces of shit fuckers the, god the goddamn community is Or I won't even get into or start on stating about how much they make me fucking sick To the bones you think I'm making this up? Bro, they are looting the people that are canonically minor or half a minor from the goddamn anime. And I haven't even watched the goddamn anime, but I know that there are still fucking pedophiles in there more than me. I don't know. Just because I have a depressive moment, I am annoying. Wow, that snum loving motherfucker. And yet I'm in the wrong. No matter what I do, no matter where I go, no matter how hard I try, I'm still in the wrong. Really? How is like 
any of this supposed to be healthy? How is any of this supposed to be making me a man? It's gonna sure make me a man, but in all types of wrong ways. It's the point where I'm gonna just give up on being a human, and I need to search for someone who can better, who can actually turn me into a fucking AI. That way, I won't have to suffer. That way, I won't have to live with like constant, constant chest boiling, or constant fucking headaches, or even any kinds of constant bullshit. To the point where I'm literally, where I'm literally gonna fucking murder him when I'm back from home. Cause enough is enough. Okay? I have already been low enough in my goddamn life. I've lost my old fucking friends from Twitter and old Discord roleplay times. I have failed a third goddamn college year and I'm now as close as I can be as any of the dipshits from back in the day that I used to make fun of them all the way until high school. And now my and now I can't even pass on my goddamn week without my fucking dad gives me a stupid fucking hated bullshit out of absolute nothing. Sheesh, man. I thought that parents are supposed to be supportive. I thought that uh, enough is enough, but no. No, no. I can't have a moment of break. Why? Because I'm a gamer. I'm a fucking gamer that I, that has to live on video games. Or, that's what I would at least say. When my fucking gaming passion did not go to the fucking ground. I lost my gaming passion, man. And those past few Yakuza games that I have been playing and tried to play... Are the only are the only stuff that actually keeps me alive, man. And I can't even have that. And I've been even trying to play some motherfucking Shenmue remastered. I can't even play that because of my fucking dad, man. Come on, man. When the fuck is there gonna actually be a real liberation? I'll rather I'll rather have it if I fucking die. Really? This... This is fucking bullshit. This is an absolute horseshit. And... Really? I've been already living on a, on a goddamn... On a goddamn cliffhanger. Like... And of course... It doesn't help when I'm alone, all alone, and always gotta power through, miraculously power through bullshit, alone. I barely have anyone talk to me. I barely have anyone actually reach out to me. I barely have anyone actually giving me some fucking love and affection instead of some stupid fucking words. There are... and no. Any hugs from my fucking parents are simply denied. Why? Because they are backstabbing, manipulative pieces of shit that I should have... That they should have never been parents at all. And they should have just stuck with them being lovers. What's wrong with them being lovers? Is it... Was it gonna literally... I don't know. Break some religion codes? Fuck the religion codes. Fuck religion and fuck being an Arab. And fuck everything related to being an Arab. This has been nothing but a fucking step back to what I was before the goddamn pedophilia situation. It's happening all over again. It's fucking happening all over again. Right now, I have to...
College Street. And I'm pretty much gonna gonna go home at this point. Cause like enough is enough. I I I can't hold it anymore. I can't hold it anymore. I can't even scream at my own house. I can't even scream at my, my own fucking balcony. Just who the fuck he think he is? Who the fuck he think he is? Cause I swear, if it's all about having me succeed, then fuck that succeed. I'd rather stay as a fucking failure than to listen to his ass and have his... And have him force me to doing things. I'd rather be in jail because of murdering him than to. I'd rather be at the ten. I'd rather be ten years at the fucking joint and maybe get fucking. I don't know. Executed at sight. Rather than to live in his goddamn jail. It's it's going back to me all over again. It's going back to me all over again. It's going back. It's another fucking step back. <sighs> Sorry to be done with all this, but I can't fucking stand it. Really? Like, I can't stand it, and if they were doing any, if they were having any slight, any fucking slight amount of decency in them, they would have left me alone, they would have just stopped, you know, and actually gave me a proper support, and actually gave me something to work with. Nah, man. Nah, man. I can't even have a have a peaceful week without him having me step back with my mentality and everything in me back to 2022. Like how fucked up? How much more fucked up can this even get? And it's not even. And it's not even the goddamn mid-year mid-year period it's not even the mid-year period and this happens it's not even the finals period and this happens it's not even the second semester and this bullshit happens and what they do not fucking understand is that I'm 22 fucking years old with a goddamn with a goddamn horny need to get a job to get some fucking money to get actually paid. Not this. Not college. Not education. And the worst out of all this, if I ditch college now, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to be at the army for two fucking years. Yeah, that's literally how the goddamn how the goddamn bullshit works in Egypt. You don't finish your education. You get caught. You get army. You get an army for two years. You finish your education. You get your army, but at one year. Yeah, ain't that a goddamn good deal? Yeah, bullshit. You get rewarded with more bullshit. Yeah, five years worth of bullshit. Like really. Like honestly. I I don't still can't even believe that those are, are my actual parents. Like this is my actual life. Cause I know that there's something behind all of this. That there's some kind of bullshit has been set up against me when I grow up. I'm just a simple dude who wants to live a simple life 
away from all of that bullshit. No. I gotta be treated as some kind of a fucking machine. Just to be able to forget that I even have a fucking soul. And as a result, I become what everyone has already seen me online. Really, just when I thought that things are gonna get better, it doesn't. It doesn't get any better. Listen, I'm just gonna end this for today. And for what I will do in an hour and a half, or maybe another an hour later, I'm gonna go home because I can't. I can't do this. Anymore. Sorry for those who are disappointed, but blame my parents, blame my parents, blame my country, blame the Arab region, blame everything that is not American or Spanish or anything that isn't European or Asian. Because we Arabs fuck shit up and become fucked up and fuck each other. And where is the proof of this happening? I'm a living proof. I'm a living proof of the most fucked up things in the entire globe. And most of you may not know it or notice it, but some of them I already did. I already have taken action. And I'm looking at all of you. Law military server. The whole UAE server and uh, everyone else who have ditched me on Twitter. Like, uh, what was it? What was it called again? Poison something. Poison four. What the hell? Whatever. Cindy, Dinius Defender, and uh, M16 Kicker, uh, Next Gen Lee, and I can mention a lot of names. Sure, most of those are just names for roleplay accounts, but those people were more important, were more important than names. Those were my friends. And they have and yet they have ditched me and jumped ship. They just jumped ship at the first sight. Don't worry about me if I die. Really, I'm not worse. I was never worse. See you all later.